Welcome back. Yes, yeah, so this is part two. We're still talking about community frequency. It's a beautiful day. And uh, I had a frequency table and I found a community frequency, yeah, which is just adding up the frequencies. And in my previous video, I then plotted that graph, okay? And community frequency, there's always some sort of S curve uh, visible in your graph. I hope you see the S, or you can call it a wave or whatever, yeah? Community frequency. And I promise in this video, I'm gonna say some things about the median and the quartiles and the interquartile range. We're gonna start with the median, okay? And what you, or what you are supposed to do, you need to do that with a very thin pencil, okay? It's very sharp, no, not thin pencil, a very sharp pencil, that's what I should say, very sharp pencil. I can't do that because otherwise you can't see it, so I'm gonna use a very thick marker, yeah, which is actually the opposite of being good, but okay, I'll do my best. Median, first of all. Cumulative frequency, you always get that question, what is the median? And the median, you know by now, is that value in the middle. Huh? Once you order, it's the value in the middle. When you order all the values, the value in the middle, the median. Okay, what do you always do? When I look at my graph, how many pieces of information do I have? I have 50. So what lies in the middle? 25, okay? So you always take half of it. So if I have asked 200 people how long it takes for them to walk home, I would go sit, yeah, so 200. The middle would have been 100 to find the median. But now it's 50, so half of 50, 25, and median in the middle. So I go to 25, and with my super sharp pencil, yeah, and again, I don't have a sharp pencil, but I go to my, my graph, and there we go, and I check, okay, so what is the median? And then you go down, and this is, you know, you get points for this. So they want you to do a good job. Eh? So use a sharp pencil and do it accurately. The median is going to be, let me see, 15, that's 20 in one, two, three, four, five steps. So each step is one. So the median is going to be 19. Yeah, over there. So the median is 19. Very good, yeah? So always you go sit in the middle, 50, so the middle is 25, and then you check, so the median is 19. If you have asked 800 people, then the middle would be 400, and you go and you have a look, and you'll find the median then, yeah? That's the first question, guaranteed you're gonna get it, what is the median? Then the quartiles, yeah? A quartile, 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 what is in the name? Quartile, a quarter, a quarter, exactly. So the median in the middle, for the quartiles, you need to take a quarter. And you have the upper and the lower quartile. Let's do the lower first. The lower quarter. What is the lower quarter? What is a quarter of 50? Uh, 50 divided by 4. What is 50 divided by 4? 12 and a half. Very good. So the lower quartile. I go to 12 and a half, which for me is here. So make sure you check your skill properly. And I go again to my graph. Boom, 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 boom. Dum, dum, dum. And uh, you do that very accurately because you get points for it. You know, you gotta take some satisfaction and pride out of your work, eh? There we go. And I check again very carefully. It's over there, so 13. That is the lower quartile. The lower quartile, can I just say Q? The lower quartile is 13, yeah? So the amount of values divided by four. So if I have 400 values, yeah, so I ask 400 people, so the lower quartile, 400 divided by four, would be at 100, and then I find my lower quartile. The upper quartile, yeah? So I have lower quartile, median, the upper quartile is at three quarters, yeah? It's at three quarters of the amount of values. So three quarters of 50. Yeah, one quart, 12 and a half, times three, 37.5. For me, that's there. You have a proper look. What for you is three quarters of the amount of values. And uh, depends on your skill as well. Eh? And of course, the amount of values you have. And then with your very sharp pencil, and you go down, there we go. And it is, and you check that, 24 for me is the upper quartile. Okay, fantastic. So we have the lower quartile at a quarter of the amount of values, the median exactly in the middle, and the upper quartile at three quarters of the amount of values you have. And then the last thing I promise you to tell you is the interquartile range. And what does inter mean? Yeah, inter Milan, international, it means in between. So the interquartile range, so that is basically these values the interquartile range is always the upper quartile take away the lower quartile. 
So this value, take away that value, then I'll be left with the interquartile range. So in this particular example, it is 24, take away 13, and the answer to that will be 11. So the interquartile range is 11, okay? So we've spoken about cumulative frequency. Find me on my site, explainingmaths.com, and ask me your question if you have any. Eh? Like and share with your friends if it was useful, or find me on Facebook, Twitter, Ask me questions, guys. Come on, you can do it. I'll see you later.